Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here, driving in the middle of nowhere-ish, and having a very strange day. When I got up this morning, and I left the house, I went to three ships to get a road brew, and it was closed. I was like, well, well that sucks, since I came all the way here and they weren't open. Then I said, well, I got to do something, so I'll go back on the other side of the road and I'll get a Starbucks. The line was wrapped all the way out around the lot. And I'm like, okay, not doing that. Especially since I sat there for two minutes and the first car never moved past the microphone. And I was like, all right, I don't have time for that shit. So I left, which means I left and got on the road with having absolutely nothing to eat or drink. I thought, okay, well, my plan was to go to my first meeting, knowing that my second and third meeting weren't going to happen. So I was like, okay, I'll go to the first meeting and there's a waffle house right there. I'll go have breakfast. Then I'll just drive to the, to the fourth meeting and I'll be really early. Well, whilst I was sitting there waiting a long ass time in this waffle house, because it was packed, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to be like so stupid early. It seems like a waste of time. And since I'm right here, where I'd have to come back tomorrow afternoon to do the last two meetings. Shit, why don't I just go and do those today? So that's exactly what I did. I went and had my last two meetings for tomorrow, today, in between the first and the last meeting that I was supposed to have today. So now I'm on my way to my last meeting of the day and I'm still gonna be there an hour early and that's fine because I can get that done. So that means that I have my one meeting tomorrow morning and then I'm done. And then I just have to drive home. I don't have to drive to an, you know, an entirely different place and have two more meetings. Also tomorrow it's supposed to rain. I think, he, I think my last guy just told me it was supposed to rain in the afternoon. So it'll be good for me if I get home before that happens. Yeah. So I might actually get up tomorrow morning and have breakfast before I have my meetings or meeting so that, uh, you know, I can be done and out of there after the meeting and it'd be even earlier because most of the time when I'm on the road like this, I don't sleep well or I can't sleep. I, d I definitely don't sleep in and I get up and I'm like, shit, and what am I going to do for three hours? Because I mean, sometimes I wake up, it's like six o'clock and I just go back to sleep because I, I have three hours to kill before my meeting. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? Well, this time, I think if I get up at six or seven even, I might just get up, go have breakfast, and then go to my meeting because my meeting's at nine. But we'll see because you never know. I might actually have a good night's sleep and sleep in and, and enjoy sleeping in late and then go to my meeting late. <laughs> so I've been sitting here contemplating what I want to do with this channel. Meaning, you know, doing the daily posts. All of a sudden now, I started to do shorts. But one thing I know for sure is that if I do the shorts, it's not going to be a random, like, huh, what should I do today? Well, I guess I'll do a random short where, I, you know, I, I talk about something dumb. It's going to be planned dumb. Because I think that's going to be a little bit more beneficial to this channel. Meaning, it's, it's going to be an informational type short. So, 60 seconds for me to explain something about my birding setup, or a particular lens, or a particular camera, or a particular accessory, or something like that, or even a software trick. Not that I have any of those, because I don't really do anything spectacular with my edits. But I have so much technology now that, you know, there's a lot of cool shit that I can talk about in a minute. So my first short over the weekend, just goes to show like holy crap because you know that first short that I did was on the Zoom Smooth Q4 and the Samsung S22 Ultra and I got over 1500 almost 1600 views on it holy shit well then yesterday's was like a random thing because I shot a ton of video when I was out walking and I had to keep restarting because I didn't like it so by the time I did all that, I got all the footage confused and I was trying to edit and I was going to take some from the first video I shot, but then use the stuff from the second. And I'm like, all right, screw this. 
I'm just gonna do a short. I can say this in less than a minute. And that's what I did. So very impromptu, unplanned, out of necessity of just not wanting to dick around anymore with, with editing a video and Final Cut. And that's what it was left with. And it didn't get nearly as much traction as the first one with the information about the equipment. So that's what I'm gonna do going forward is that they're all, all the shorts are gonna be not gear review, but they're gonna be photo video gear centric. And that includes phones or tablets and all that shit. And, and I'm just gonna go from there. But for now, I've got an hour and a half of driving to get to my next meeting, which is my last meeting. And then we'll kind of go from there. So that being said, that's it for now. Let's just do some driving. Hey kids. All right, I'm in the hotel room and I have already done my meetings for today. I went to dinner. I went shopping afterwards. I went to a Best Buy and then I went to Target and I got some dirty hippie dessert and some sparkling water, you know, for the rest of my stay. So I'm gonna have to do this really quick because the AC pops on like every 30 seconds and I need to edit this video and get going. Oh, it's already coming on. Sorry. So it's been one of those days like this route is a day that is long and there's a shit ton of driving because there's so much space in between the normal meetings, uh, even though I didn't do them today. So I'm pretty much done for the night. I need to just kick back and chill. Uh, tomorrow we'll just be driving. I'm, I'm literally uh, driving from here to Virginia Beach and I'm in Roanoke since I think I forgot to mention that. So let's see. So it's going to take me, if I drove straight, a little over four hours. I won't be driving straight. I'll have to stop at least once in there, um, maybe twice because I'm not holding my pee in. So we're talking five hours. If I, if I actually leave at let's just say 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I'll get home around 3, in between 2 and 3, which means right about the time the thunderstorms start. Yay! Okay, so enough blathering. That's all I got for you, and now this is kicking in full blast. So that's all I got for you today. Sorry, you know what you're in store for when I'm on the road. It's always going to be really lame, but uh, that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember, kids, forward and up.